Hey guys, um, oh, I spit my tongue a little bit, <laughs> but, um, for this video, um, I'm, I've been thinking about this, and I was thinking to myself, who is the true villain of Ant-Man and the Wasp? Because my mom and I saw that one month ago, it was a great movie, but I've been thinking about this on who's the true villain, so I'm gonna go over this. So, of course, unlike, like the original Ant-Man, the sequel is a superhero heist film with multiple parties, including a Tyler character seeking a prize, somebody locked away in the Horam. But who is the main villain? And are there more male violent forces at work? Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Okay, Thanos is one of the villains. But not of this, but another Marvel movie. The, while the art villain does not physically appear in the film, Thanos snap her around the universe with major consequences. Hank, Hope, and Janet disintegrate, leaving Ant-Man trapped in the quantum realm. And I haven't seen the post credits, but with will Ant-Man and the Wasp return? And what role will they have in restoring the universe? And I, when fans will find out why, in May 2019, when the Infinity War sequel is released. Which I'll definitely see that because I've seen the first one. But let's keep going up. Like Elis, Bill Foster is a former colleague of Hank's. Him enlists Bill's help in tracking his portable lab, which goes steals. After Hank, his daughter Hope and Ant-Man are captured. Bill reveals he's been helping Ghost all along. Their goal, like Hank's, is to extract Hank's wife Janet from the quantum realm. But instead of rescuing her, they want to use the quantum energy Janet has stored to heal Ava. Now it's Ghost. Tony has the villain in the Ant-Man and the Wasp, Marking Materials. Ghost, aka Ava Star, actually knows the value of him, Pym's research. Her father, Elis, was a former partner of Pym's who was fired and discredited. Elis and his wife were killed when one of his quantum energy experiences went away. The accident left Ava in a state of molecular disobedium, allowing her to phase through solid objects. Unfortunately, her powers are also killing her, so she turns to... Sun now, Sunny Birch. Many of these films have small-time criminals, and in Ant-Man and the Wasp, it's Sunny Birch, a black market dealer who possesses more hired muscle than bravery. Birch is having a cut and run. He's determined to make a profit off Hank Pym's research without really understanding it, going so far as to steal Pym's portable lab. Then, Agent Wu is determined to prove Scott Lang slash Ink Man is violating his house arrest, played to bumbling perfection by Randall Park, who stars on the ABC sitcom Fresh Off the Boat. Wu hopes by catching Lang outside so that he can lock him up in a federal facility. Unfortunately for Wu, Lang, fi Lang finds creative ways of duping being Wu, including attaching his ankle monitoring bracelet to a giant ant. Now, so I'm not really, so I'm not really sure who the true villain of Ant-Man was or true bad guy, but on YouTube, there's like, why Ghost isn't a villain. As a former X-Man. Hold on a second. You know, not like, okay, she's a villain, she's a bad, you know, it's, no, she's not. She's a threat, definitely, to the protagonists. She has an objective, and she's the good guy, in her mind, and everyone else is bad. That may be You've true. got to find, I find, the humanity in, in whatever you're playing, when, when you are playing the anti-hero in a movie. I think you really have to find the balance there of, of the threat, but also... The vulnerability with that, that, that comes with that. You go low, I'll go high. I have wings. Why would I go low? What Marvel have done as well, which is great, is, is nothing is black and white. No one's necessarily good 
no one's necessarily bad. And I think that really gives an incredible and interesting dynamic. So I guess that's why Ghost isn't a villain ain't me in the Wasp. Maybe, I don't know. But what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below of who you think the true villain of Ant-Man and the Wasp is. For me, I would have to say... Uh, let's see. For me, I'd have to say the true villain is... This character, Sonny Birch. I mean, Ghost is the villain in the actual Ant-Man comics, but I'm not sure in the movie because she's actually cured at the end, but who knows. But thank you guys for watching this 10th vlog. I made it to 10 vlogs, which is pretty cool. But I want to say thank you again for watching it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And make sure to look back next time for more new vlogs in the in upcoming videos every Saturday on my channel. So get ready for them. Thanks for watching, guys. And have a great night.